This is a quick start tutorial to get you up and running with the Inspiration Maps app on your iPad or iPhone. There are a number of ways to create a new idea symbol, but the simplest is to double tap a blank space on your screen. Another way to create a new symbol is to drag it from the symbol library. To delete a symbol or other object, tap it to select it, then tap the trash button on the top toolbar. To add text to a symbol, double tap it to go into text editing mode, and then type. Your idea symbols will automatically adjust their size to accommodate the text that you add. If you want to make your symbols bigger or smaller manually, tap to select the symbol, then use a two-finger pinch to change the symbol size. Notice that the symbols we just created are floating and not attached to the rest of the diagram. Sometimes when brainstorming, it's best to start with floating idea symbols like these. This allows you to capture ideas as they come to you. Other times, you may have a thought or idea to capture that you already know is directly related to a main idea. To create a sub-symbol off of an existing idea symbol, select the parent symbol and tap or drag the arrow handle to create a connected symbol. We call these connections between symbols links. As you make connections between ideas, use links to show relationships and demonstrate comprehension. To link one existing idea symbol to another, drag that same arrow handle I just showed you to the symbol you would like to connect. You will see it wiggle, signifying that the symbol is ready to connect. You delete a link arrow the same way you would delete an idea symbol, by first selecting it, then tapping the trash can. You can use the inspector, located under the I button on your top toolbar, to further customize or change the direction of your link arrows. In fact, you can do quite a bit with the inspector. Consider it your one-stop shop for customization of the content you're creating in your diagram or outline. In most cases, the inspector displays customization options based on what you have selected at that time. Now with an idea symbol selected, I can use the inspector to customize the color or font or make other formatting changes to my idea symbol. The Inspiration Maps app gives you countless customization options when it comes to your diagrams and your outlines and I've only just scraped the surface of the basics in this video. To get to know the app better, we suggest selecting different things on your diagram and exploring the inspector to see what your options are. If you make a mistake, you can always tap Undo, located on your top toolbar. For more detailed information on how to use Inspiration Maps to create beautiful diagrams like these, visit the comprehensive help documentation inside the app.